Aren't you going to read it back to me? It's not finished. So make it up as you go along. Fine. Say no to a dying woman. Oh, already milking it. Yippee! Um, hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, you give it more oomph, surely. Greetings! <laughs> We're gathered here today to celebrate the life and times of the legendary Lisa Dingle. Oh, get on with it. She was very particular about this, so I've got to get it right. Demand number one, no blubbing, if you can help it. Demand number two, happy stories, not sad ones. Demand number three, get bladdered and have a right good knees up. <laughs> Lisa was a lot of things. Gifted mechanic, pig farmer, life model. Builder? <laughs> Builder. Mm. Maker of the greatest casserole known to man. <laughs> She was also the best thing to happen to Zach Dingle. And an incredible mum to our bell. She turned up uninvited on Christmas Day 1998 and Lisa said she'd never felt love like it. The hardest thing about all of this, she told me, was knowing she'd have to leave her. But my lass is strong. Brave. She'll be all right. Belle might have been her only actual kid, but she didn't stop there. Kind of ended up with a lot of us, didn't she? Didn't matter that she was only a dingle by marriage. She was always there to turn to, with a brew and a cuddle. Or a load of abuse, depending on what you'd done. She helped Debbie with Sarah, Kane with Kyle, repaired the things we thought couldn't be fixed. Because she was the glue, wasn't she? Bringing this mad family back together time and time again. And then she got poorly. And it wasn't fair. But she faced it. Head on. I've never seen anyone show more courage. And I know you'll agree she was one hell of a woman. 